John, you've just been to coin a phrase back home in Indiana. Must have been quite a thrill for you. Yes, it was, uh, Mike. It's always nice to go back among the people uh, with whom you grew up and uh, associated with in your younger days. And uh, it was a very, very pleasant and memorable occasion. Vince Lombardi just had a street name for him up in Green Bay, and I understand you've got one back home. Uh, yes, and I received... Okay. All right. Okay. I'll step in. Look, is that okay? Vince Lombardi had a street name for him up in Green Bay, and I understand now you have one in Indiana. <laughs> yes, uh, last Sunday I received the first uh, uh, piece of mail that was ever delivered on John R. Wooden Drive, and uh, they presented it to me on the corner where they had the dedication uh, uh, ceremonies for the naming of this new street, which is in the new section of town and will be uh, down uh, where the new high school uh, is and uh, by the hospital. and. Uh, it's a very nice, uh, nice honor, and I was very, very pleased about it, but a little embarrassed too, Mike. Well, in this business, John, uh, the big question always is, what did you do last week? And you're about to start a new season now after three national titles in a row, and of course, without Lou Alcindor. What does that mean specifically to the Bruins? We lost four players off of our squad that won the national championship last year. Uh, and uh, those four players uh, were four of our top six as far as scoring is concerned, four of our top six as far as playing time is concerned, and of course one, Al Cinder, was one of the all-time greats of the game. Uh, to attempt to offset those losses, uh, and you run down uh, briefly for us how you would see your ball club if you had to play now. Well, a coach doesn't pick his lineup before you've had a day of practice, but he, in his mind he has to have certain things uh, uh, to start with. And I know, for example, that Steve Patterson is way ahead of anyone else that we have as a possibility at center. Matter of fact, I'm worried that we won't have uh, anyone that can push him enough to bring out his full potential. But I think he's going to be a fine player and will be back in the old style of the high post offense that I like very much and have always played up until the time uh, that Al Cinder came to UCLA. At forwards, uh, at the present time, uh, uh, Curtis Rowe is back, of course, and he's a great forward and probably as consistent a sophomore last year of any player I have ever had. I thought his consistency was amazing. Not, not the fact that he was good. I knew he was going to be good, but I didn't think he would be as consistently good as he was. The other forward, uh, in all probability, at the start, looks like it will be Sidney Wicks. Now, uh, Sidney Wicks, 6'8", uh, youngster and uh, he has tremendous ability uh, physical ability he he's just blessed with a lot of it he's can run and he can jump but his problem thus far has been of getting it all under control and if he gets it under control he can be a great forward at guards of course I have John Vallely back who uh, made the all-tournament team last year and is a fine shooter and I think much improved as a guard and will be even better this year uh, it's likely that at the very start of the season, uh, Terry Schofield, who has been with us now a couple of years, but is still just a junior, and uh, played considerable last year and showed great improvement. And he has uh, rather quick hands, and it looks as if that at the start we'll think of him in terms of being a starting guard. But there are others. Uh, Henry Bibby off our freshman team last year, you know, is a fine shooter and, and uh, probably not as uh, well-rounded as Schofield. He's older, but he could be in there before the... Uh, season uh, got too far along. Or Kenny Booker, who had a knee operation last year, if that comes back, uh, he looked like he would be excellent in the pressing defense. So we have several different ones. John Ecker, uh, as a uh, possibility to forward, too, is a pretty good boy. And so I think we have uh, adequate depth at every spot except the center spot. The conference, Pac-8, overall, looks to be, uh, at this point, perhaps as well-balanced as it's been in uh, years. Uh, how do you view the conference race? Oh, undoubtedly, uh, Mike, uh, we'll have the strongest conference, in my opinion, in the country this year. I think USC, with the material they have, with the, with the ones they have back, with that great freshman team and with the uh, junior college transfers that they got, uh, personnel-wise, uh, don't take a back seat to anyone in the country this year. And, and uh, probably they'll be pick, picked as the team to beat in our conference because of their outstanding personnel. And then, of course, uh, 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 California is just about in as good a position because they retain uh, uh, some great players and plus uh, two great freshmen, uh, Ainsley Truitt and Phil Chenier, and they're just outstanding. And so they're going to be extremely strong. 
And I think that Oregon State has good material, outstanding material. I think Oregon and Washington are very strong. And it's going to be a very, very tough conference. And I would say that the team that wins this conference is going to have an excellent chance to be the NCAA champion. Thanks very much, John. The best of luck to you. Thank you, Mike. It's nice to chat with you. Curtis, a uh, new season starting. Are you anxious to get going? Very much so. I'll be real glad when, when it gets started. I'll be anxious to play any type of game. I'm anxious to practice right now. How do you spend your off season? Do you uh, play in summer league or work out at all? How do you spend your summer? Well, we can't play in summer leagues because it's against the NC2A rule. When we work out with ourselves, say maybe once a week at the beginning of the summer, then at the end we probably work out two or three times a week. The Bruins now are defending uh, three straight NCAA titles in a row, and you're without uh, Big Lou this year. Uh, a lot of pressure on you. How do you react to that? Well, I don't feel it's too much pressure on us because everybody thought we won him because we had Lou anyway. So, well, now we're trying to prove, prove ourselves that we can win it without Lou. We're not in, interested in NC2A right now. We're thinking about the conference. Uh, does uh, the absence of Al Sandor after playing with him uh, for a year going to make any uh, difference in your style of play, your approach to the game? Well, yes, as far as my rebounding and as far as driving, it's concerned toward the basket on offense. Well, as far as the rebounding is concerned, like if the ball went straight up in the air last year, everybody would break toward the sidelines because we'd figure Lou would get it, say, nine out of ten times. But like this year, everybody's going to the boys real hard. M myself, Steve Patterson, and uh, Sidney Wicks. Uh, after a year in the conference, uh, you know some of the personnel that will be returning at the other schools. Uh, who do you look to be the toughest uh, for the Bruins in the back eight this year? Well, I think the whole conference will be tough because it's, it's well balanced. Like uh, Oregon State, I think they, they only lost one man from their team. And for as the University of Washington had all juniors, they didn't lose nobody. And like SC is real tough, they're supposed to have a real good freshman team coming up. And plus, with their returning lettermans. And then they have Cal. They have, a, I think, the, the freshman team. I think it's Hap, Phil Chenier. Then they have a, the big center is about 6'8 to 6'9. His name is Truitt. Plus, they have Jackie Ridgels, Charlie Johnson. Then they have the high jumper, Clarence Johnson, who's a very good basketball player. So I should say it comes to be pretty strong. Who was the uh, toughest individual uh, opponent that you played uh, man, uh, man on man last season? Well, I'd hate to say it was, it's between, uh, say we played Princeton. I can't think of his, his name right now. But anyway, he, he was 11 for 15 and I was guarding him from the field. So he, had, he ended up with about 28 points and, and Jackie Ridge was the second time we played him. He got about 30 points. All right, now you, uh, you answer that question in terms of uh, defense. Uh, do uh, you like to play uh, defense as well or better than offense, or how do you feel about that? Well, I like to score, so I'd much rather play offense. Uh -huh. But defense is a part of the game, and if you can't stop the other man, there's no, no need of you really being out on the court. Okay, Curtis, thanks very much, and best of luck to you. All right, thank you. All right, thanks very much, Curtis. We'll see you later. All right. Be the tough John, you came to Westwood as something of an unknown quantity last year and moved right in on a championship ball club. Now, what's the difference for you individually starting this season? Well, first of all, I think is the main thing is the experience I uh, got last year from playing on the starting team all the way through and also learning the guard position. Uh, this year will make it much easier for me in that I have all that experience. I'll go out with more confidence. Do you work on any individual skills in the off offseason? Uh, how do you spend your off seasons? Well, this last year I played a lot of volleyball on the beach. I think it is really a good sport for any athlete. I think uh, the jumping on the sand and the moving in anticipation of where the guy's hitting the ball, uh, the playing of defense, everything moving in the sand will build your legs and make you stronger for the basketball season. Also, uh, I spend time trying to learn to dribble the ball better if I can because it's something that I didn't do a whole lot in junior college, where last year I had to sort of just learn it as I went. Uh, also, I have to, you know, I work on the shooting and uh, running and things like that. You mentioned volleyball. Are you like Keith Erickson was, a tournament volleyball player? Yeah, I played a lot of tournaments last year. A lot of them. I played uh, all the open tournaments on the beaches up and down the coast. Now, the Bruins face a little different situation uh, this year in defending your national title. Of course, uh, Big Lou is gone. Now, what is that going to mean to your style of play, if anything? Well, naturally, it's going to speed it up. It'll be more like the teams that uh, won the national championships with Gail Goodrich and uh, Hazard. Uh, I think we'll run a lot faster. Our defense will be probably more for, uh, fierce. It'll be uh, 
um, a more running style of game. Is that the kind of basketball you uh, you like to play? You like really, I'd love to play it that way. I, I would rather not have to slow down and wait for, a, like, say, Lou to come down. But it's uh, the best percentages were in doing that last year. That's why we did it, because Lou's shooting 60% from the floor. You certainly got a good chance of winning with him shooting the ball a lot. This year, though, uh, we'll run a lot faster. We'll take more chances. We'll gamble, I think, and it'll be a much more interesting game for everybody. Well, what's the mood on the ball club now as you get ready to open the season? You're defending a national championship. There's a lot of pressure on you. We think that we have the talent to go just as far as we did last year. It's just a matter of whether we all play together as a team. I think we have uh, ample material to, uh, to have another national championship. It's improbable that we'll win it, of course. I mean, it was improbable that we'd get three in a row, but to get four, is really impro improbable, but I don't think it's impossible because, like I say, we do have the talent to do it. Okay, thanks very much, John. The best of luck to you. Steve, you're going to be getting this question a lot uh, with the start of this season, so we might as well start practice with it. How does it feel to be moving into the big man's shoes? Well, uh, it's going to be kind of a pressure situation, I'll have to admit, but when you really stop and think about it, I know that people aren't going to be expecting me to do everything that he did. And so from that standpoint, uh, I really am looking forward to it. And it's going to be an exciting year. Coach Wooden uh, says that probably one of his problems with the squad this year is that he may not have anybody to push you on his own ball club. Uh, does that affect you? Well, uh, I suppose it's bound to in some ways. I, I'm kind of looking forward to it personally. Uh, for the last three years, I've had somebody pushing me, <laughs> or I've been pushing somebody else, let's put it that way. But uh, I know that will be kind of tough to adjust from a practice situation to a game situation because, uh, you know, I won't be working out every day against somebody my size. Now you've uh, played uh, last uh, year a little forward as well as center. Uh, are you happy to be back center? Do you prefer that? You individually face a pressure situation defending national champions. What's the mood on the ball club? Well, I think that the mood is uh, one of excitement, it's one of enthusiasm, and it's one of optimism. I feel that uh, we have the physical ability to, to keep the string going and to hang another banner in one of these corners. Thanks very much, Steve, and the best of luck to you. Thank you. Yeah, I sure have. I played against uh, uh, Bill Westfall and Ron Riley, and uh, uh, what's the other forwards name? I can't think of his name offhand. Uh, but, uh, uh, Oh, anyway, Monroe, Monroe Nash. Monroe Nash, right. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm impressed. They're going to have a good ball club. Uh, they are going to suffer from inexperience, however, and I think that uh, that they're going to be kind of facing some of the things that uh, that the Alcindor, Lucius Allen, you know, Len Shackelford crew faced when they were sophomores. But still, I don't think they're going to be quite as tough as that sophomore team was. I really don't. <laughs> but they're going to give us a ball game, you know, really well. Okay.